The story of the great I am It shouldn't be such a mystery From Jesus Christ to Billy Graham A pirate's got a church history <laughs> I'm Captain Pete And this is a pirate's guide to church history You know about Jesus way back in the beginning And you know about Billy Graham here in modern times But what happened in the middle? Right? In the middle, in the middle. Me and my pirate parrot, Reginald. That's me, that's me. Yeah, I know. We're here to tell you stories from the middle. So here we go. In 300 AD, the Roman Empire was not a good place to be a Christian. Roman emperors didn't like Christians and had nasty habits like burning their churches and throwing them to the lions. Nasty place, nasty place. Exactly. Then a new emperor came along named Constantine. Constantine's mother, Helena, was a Christian. And even though Constantine wasn't, he didn't think Christians were so terrible. What? Reginald wants a pickle. Not now, Reginald. We're in the middle of our story. Then one day in 312 AD, as Constantine was leading his army into battle, he saw a vision in the sky. Do you know what a vision is? Is it like a pickle? No, it's like a dream, but while you're awake. Rawr, I had a dream about a pickle. All right, it could be like a pickle, but in this case, it was not a pickle. It was the first two letters of the word Christ. Constantine painted what he saw on all his soldiers' shields like this. What's that? It's the first two letters of the word Christ. In Greek. Put on top of one another. Right. The next day, he won the battle against an army twice as big. He believed it was a miracle. Now he was in charge of the entire Roman Empire. So he became a Christian himself and said that Christians could no longer be harmed. Ah, what a guy, what a guy. That's right, Reginald. Constantine spent the rest of his life helping spread Christianity, building churches everywhere from Rome to Jerusalem, and pulling together important church meetings to settle disagreements about Christian theology. And he did it all with a parrot on his shoulder. You're kidding me. Okay, I made that part up. But it wouldn't have been neat if he'd had a parrot. Can I have my pickle now? Oh. That's all we got for new. See you next time on the Pirate's Guide to Church History. Rap, come again, come again.